The Acolyte trailer came out just over a week ago and broke a peculiar little Star Wars record for UC. This was the first ever, to borrow their phrasing, the firstest everest Star Wars trailer to get ratioed into absolute oblivion. I mean, it's not even close. You love to see it. Against the backdrop of other sectors of entertainment where the fans, the customers, you and me, that is, have just finally had enough of playing around with these renegade Marxist DEI maniacs, it's really, really heartening to see the Star Wars fan base, which historically has been semi-tolerant of the infiltration and devastation of their favorite franchise, snap. Just, that's enough. Had enough and fight back at last. Honestly, it's just really nice to see, but it's also, of course, hilarious because the Acolyte trailer was absolute total pants and the morons responsible for making frozen meats kill Bill in a galaxy far, far away absolutely deserve to see just how unpopular their deranged scratching and rambling actually is. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to check out the Acolyte trailer for a little catch up on what's been going on. But remember, if you're enjoying the video, then like it and don't forget you can subscribe if you'd like to see some more of me i'd like to see more of you so then we've got uh, the acolyte trailer page here on youtube and um i'm not watching it i've already watched it you can check me out responding to it in a wtf live episode with ryan roger athe but uh in the meantime let's have a look just down here because this is the part that really matters now you can see 184,000 likes Okay, not bad. I mean, it is a Star Wars property. Has been viewed 9.3 million times. Meaning that the overwhelming majority of people are either completely indifferent to it or just watched it by accident or it came on automatically or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just people accessing the page to keep an eye on the ratio because the dislikes are <laughs> three times as many. 594,000. More than half a million people have actually actively hit the dislike button on this trailer. And I'd like to remind you just briefly that this is the same YouTube in 2024 that did away with your ability inherently to see the number of dislikes on a trailer couple of years ago. Now, of course, thanks to the return dislike button uh, add-on for Chrome, we can see the dislike number that people on their phones can't, or people who just don't care that much can't, normies can't, which means that a hell of a lot of these dislikes are from just any old person. <laughs> you yeah, love to see it. Don't forget, of course, though, the... Uh, comment section has been extremely funny uh someone is killing jedi it's disney uh what do you see the comment section getting turned off still not happened yet for some reason my favorite part is when kenobi waves his hand and says these aren't the star wars characters you're looking for close your eyes what do you see cartman as kathleen kennedy yeah of course but uh this isn't about good and bad it's about power couldn't have said it better, Disney. Close your eyes. What do you see? Nothing, Mr. Weinstein. That's right, because, of course, this is a uh, property that has been helmed by Harvey Weinstein's uh, previous, I have to say, because the man is in jail. Personal assistant, Leslie Headland. I say lie for two reasons. Number one, because she has a Y in her name. Number two is obvious. But, uh, you know, this is, this is really good to see. But it hasn't stopped, of course, the backlash that you would expect, as we can go over here to Fandom Wire to see this quote in a headline. Star Wars fans are so ungrateful. The Acolyte trailer achieves a disappointing milestone, and it's the fandom that's being blamed to be too toxic to please. Oh, that old chestnut. Remember the old days, guys, when we just used to get called toxic fans? Now we get called far right. Yahtzee, lunatics, they try to say that we're just like them, that we have an ideology. Here's an ideology for you. No more ideologies. Leave us alone. Summary, uh, the trailer for the Acolyte is finally out and is set towards the tail end of the High Republic era. 
held by Leslie Headland, the story will be told from different perspectives. Unfortunately, the show has already hit a roadblock, with the trailer getting more dislikes than likes on YouTube. More? Significantly more. I mean, okay, 184,000, that's alright, but when the trailer came out, it was at 130 in a very short time. It's only gone up 60 since then. Meanwhile, the ratio, which had already overtaken that amount, has tripled. And then some. Crazy. Brilliant. Love it. The trailer for Star Wars The Acolyte has finally dropped, and it once again whisks you away to a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, but not the one we grew up with. Announced by Lucasfilm in 2020, it took the production four years to get off the ground. Yes, well, they'll blame that all on the Chinese sneeze. But uh, <laughs> like most Star Wars projects, The Acolyte has been the subject of many discussions and speculation over the years, where there's been an awful, awful lot of apathy about it too. Apparently it's going to go to the High Republic, take you back to the era of the High Republic. That, I'm afraid, phrasing is, is totally wrong, because that would imply that most of us have ever been to the High Republic, which, of course, if you look at the sales of the books, we haven't. I think the first one was like 20,000 sold, and then they just fell off a cliff. Nobody cares about the High Republic. The all-female Jedi. Oh, Jesus, and Wookiees who wear clothes thereby implying that Chewbacca was a nudist. Think about it. Star Wars is one of the most beloved franchises of all time, A New Hope kicked off the series, which has since spawned several sequels and spin-offs, with each project expanding the rich lore that George Lucas created. The Acolyte is no different in this regard, and in fact it will take the viewers to a period that has not been seen on television probably previously, but yet yeah, most likely because no one gives a shit. Leslie Headland took over the reins for the project, took over, I mean, it was her idea. Little Miss, what's your favourite Star Wars movie? I love all the Star Wars I want to live in the universe. Sets this a hundred years before The Phantom Menace, meaning you can still have Yoda in it. The show is set during the High Republic era. This is so fucking... God. The trailer starts off with... Oh, we all saw the trailer. But anyway, it's divided the fans. I don't know, Last Jedi divided the fans. This is not so much a division as a landslide. The Star Wars fandom has gained an ill reputation and is starting to set a dangerous precedent. Dangerous? What's dangerous about telling Disney to go f*** themselves when they f*** up our Star Wars, huh? The fandom has, already, has always been extremely polarizing with undercurrents of racism. Are you mental? The fandom has always been extremely polar. So basically, what you're saying here is the fandom has always been racist and, and misogynist. The Star Wars fans. You're insane. You're absolutely insane. That's, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. There have always been female Star Wars fans who were always welcomed. There have always been fans. We like Leia. We like Padme. No problem with any of them. None at all. No problem that Mon Mothma was the leader of the rebellion and she's a woman. No problem at all. Absolutely none. Couldn't care less. Would have been fine to see her become Chancellor of the New Republic. Maybe she did. Who knows? We didn't get to see it in the freaking movies, did we? The point is, the movies, the TV shows, everything they make absolutely sucks. It just sucks. Star Wars sucks now because you can't write. You're talentless. That is not racism. That is not sexism. So to say that the fan base has always been racist and misogynist is absolutely absurd. Completely absurd. We just didn't like Rey. You know why we don't like Rey? Because she is written like a Mary Sue. A character who has no challenge. Someone you can't get behind because they've never struggled. How are you supposed to enjoy someone's story if they start off perfect and, and grow in zero ways? throughout the entire trilogy. You're fools, you're idiots, your heads are in the sand, and you deserve a ratio of 594,000 dislikes. Embarrassing. And it doesn't really matter whether they call us all these names anyway, because at the end of the day, when the show comes out, the proof in the pudding will be in the eating. And there you go. So let me know how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it. And of course, share it out there for other people to see. And don't forget to subscribe to the Will of the Fans. So make sure you don't miss out on any more news, reviews, commentary, or rebellion. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. And I'll chat to you next time.